away and running. Good speed today from Irish Bandit. Also showing good early zip on the outside is Give It a Whirl. Then Master of Malice came away in third. And Landslide is home is in fourth. Last of all is the long shot, Big Red Storm. They point towards the three for long point and Give It a Whirl is in hand and in command. And the rider hasn't moved a muscle yet. To the outside, Master of Malice is closing in sweetly. Irish Bandit broke sharp, soon outpaced, but is also in hand. And these are the three principles. Landslide is home is struggling in fourth. And Big Red Storm is last of all. There's three sixteenths to go. And give it a whirl. Looking sharp at the top of the stretch. Master of Malice watches this one scamper away. And here's a dazzling first impression. Give it a whirl. And Charlie Marquez just strolling home to win. Give it a whirl has won it. Master of Malice was second. And Irish Bandit was third. Away and running to a nice looking start. Rail speed from Magnificent Pearl. There goes the speed of Sapphire Star. And Princess Chessie's in the firing line, passed by Grace and Charm. And very wide is Vodka Tini in the forepath. Seven eights to go, and Sapphire Star gets to control things all her own way, but that lead has dwindled to an neck. Grace and Charm, sensing a slower pace, now steps on the gas and gets to the front by a nose. Sapphire Star yields at the three quarter pole, and in that third place position, is Princess Chessie on hold as they leave the first turn behind. Vodka Tini continues a deep run, and Magnificent Pearl is last of all. Only three lanes would cover the five ladies. So Grace and Charm, setting a quick pace for the level, shows the way by a length and a quarter. Tracked by Vodka Tini on the outside, who now lands second. Sapphire Star comes under a niggle to stay with the speed with four furlongs to go. Magnificent Pearl takes one spot away, and Princess Jessie is Drop the way to the back of the pack. Around the bend they go. Grayson's charm still continues to control the clock. The lead's a length and a quarter. Vodka Tini has no excuses despite a wide trip. Magnificent Pearl is trying to get on track. Gets scrubbed upon his two lengths down. But is closing inch by inch at the quarter pole. Grayson charm had first run. Vodka Tini trying to saddle up to this one. Off the turn. They're homeward bound. Grayson charm continues the lead. The lead's a neck at best. Vodka Tini and Inherits the lead of the 3 16ths and kicks away. Magnificent Pearl is late on the scene and so is Sapphire Star, but they're not changing the winning outcome. Vodka Tini pads that lead with 70 yards to go. Vodka Tini has won it. Grace and Charm finish second. Sapphire Star is in a photo for third with Magnificent Pearl. Way and running. Good speed on the outside from exaggerated defense. There goes Rockingham Joe to take over the lead. And holla at your boy emerges into that second place position. Exaggerated defense shares third along with front dancer and that's Mr. Mo. Rutherford is behind a wall of speed. Second last is certain and the trailer is bally rolling tide. Over the soft turf they go with three furlongs out. And on the outside Rockingham Joe raises the stakes at holla at your boy. They're a length and a half clear. Exaggerated defense is eyeballing 
following them and getting closer to. Front Dancer stays at the rail. Rutherford is trying to get on track. They turn to the top of the stretch. And Rockingham Joe kicks for home. Here comes a daunting presence of exaggerated defense. Holla at your boy grudgingly gives way. And Rutherford is storming home now. There's a 16th to go. And Rutherford climbs over the top. And even money Rutherford comes away to win. Rockingham Joe was second, Certain was third, and Halacha Boy finished fourth. Away and running. Slow to go was Mr. Peak. Good speed today from Wild Behavior. Up the inside, back at you, Sheer second, and now takes it away from Bazoo, who travels all by himself in that third place position. A battle for fourth between Lord Barrier and Struger, and last of all, the slow starting strides of Mr. Pete. They flash past the four and a half, and Wild Behavior is the one they gotta catch today. Shows the way by only a length. Back at you is on hold in that second place position, and Bazoo is ready to roll, starts to pick him off one by one, and Struger now lands a share of third. Lord Barrier comes under a ride, and Mr. Pete still last of all with five sixteenths to go. Wild Behavior with the money on still continues to strut his stuff with a commanding two-length lead. Struger on the outside battles with Bazoo, and the others have to sprout wings as they turn to the top of the stretch. Wild Behavior's trying to stick the trip for another three sixteenths of a mile. The lead's a shrinking length. Struger and Jamie Rodriguez is ready to roll on the outside, and here comes Struger to try to press past Wild Behavior. Struger goes past, and this is win number 2,000 for jockey Jamie Rodriguez. Struger has won it, Wild Behavior second, Mr. Pete third, and Bazoo was fourth. Away and running. Great speed today from Heckled. One to the inside of that one. There goes Fancy Warrior. And deep on the course, Creole is right there too. Sal's Blue Jacket creeps closer up the inside. So those are the first three on settling down. Sal's Blue Jacket and Fancy Warrior over the soft going sets the tone. And Creole is right there too. Bollinger is going to have a wide trip along with I Got a Bolt. And Cake's Tap Dancer enjoys a very lovely trail. And going very wide was Fancy Warrior affecting the progress of Creole along with Bollinger. So as the dust settles now, it's Sal's Blue Jacket who leads. A tracking second is Creole, and there goes the speed of Fancy Warrior into the third place position. Cake's Tap Dancer's in fourth. Up the inside, Heckle travels in fifth position. Bollinger to the outside, sixth. I Got a Bolt came away in seventh in front of Gun Running Gal. Then Go Mo Mischief, second last in the backfield. She's like Thunder and Blonde Samaritan trails, so they've spaced the rest the top two with three and a half for longs to go. Sal's Blue Jacket leads. Creole is hot and pursued in second. Heckled who broke as sharp as attack, soon to get closer now in that third place position. Quite a divide back to Fancy Warrior. Around the bend at the five and a half. Sal's Blue Jacket's made most of the running so far, but Heckled is right there ready to play that hand. Creole drops away silently. 99 to one sees Blonde Samaritan in top four frame, and they turn to the top of the stretch. Sal's Blue Jacket loving the rain-affected sod leads by two. Heckled is right there getting on track now. These two 
face off of Furlong to go. Sal's Blue Jacket keeps on finding at eight to one. Heckled making good progress, but is it too late? Sal's Blue Jacket holding. Sal's Blue Jacket winning over Heckled, who was second. At no less than a hundred to one, Blonde Samaritan was third, and Cake's Tap Dancer was fourth. Away and running. Great speed today from Litigant, but there's the speed of Rebel Empire, and Bachelor Pad is right there too. Sutton Valley came away in fourth position. A length down from that rival is Bowie Do Step. Those are the first five of the next division, including Call Me Maestro. The rail belongs to codename Brody. In between rivals is Lawlessness. Another Lulu is second last, and first reel is out the back. They got four furlongs to go, and Rebel Empire has a fight on that rival's hands, and Bachelor Pad is right there, shadowing the speed, but had a jam on the breaks there, and Sutton Valley tries to pass that one. Litigants in that third place position, and Sutton Valley tries to re-rally from that second place position. At the midpoint of the one and only left turn, Rebel Empire still has the target on its back. Sutton Valley in chase mode in second, up the fence is Bachelor Pad, and trying to close in is Litigant as they come to the top of the stretch. It's still Rebel Empire with a pace in his hand, and has kicked away with authoritative style. Call Me Maestro now moves into second, Sutton Valley's in between rivals. Nothing left from Bachelor Pad. And First Rule is trying to close in for the exotics. But at the 16th pole, it's all Rebel Empire at odds on to score. Call me Maestro in a photo for second with First Rule. Bachelor Pad was fourth. Away and running. Good speed for Rambert today. Outside of that one is above the limit. And Cora Pearl is right there at those at long shot odds. And in that third place position now becomes Castilea. Smooth Pebble takes away that fourth place position in front of Cora Pearl. Flashing Diamond has a lot of ground to make up. Second last is Mama G's Wish. And Twirling Savvy to the back of the pack with three furlongs to go. Above the limit stretches those legs to lead a length and a half. Rambert's on chase mode in that second place position. Castilea is wide and out of trouble. Smooth Pebble rides that rail in front of Cora Pearl and Flashing Diamond. They're into the stretch. Above the limit still calls the shots, but Rambert is poised to take that rival on. Homeward bound. Rambert on the outside puts those red blinkers in front. Above the limit has no more to give. Castellay is closing in late along with long shot Cora Pearl. Twirling Savvy's trying to land a piece of the board, but it's all Rambert. Rambert has won it over Above the Limit, who was second, and a show photo between Twirling Savvy when everything was said and done. Away and 
running. Good speed today from WW Springtime. Up the fence is Golden Candy, and he's a shooter is right there too in a close knit affair. My bow came away in fourth. The rail belongs to Addy Laddie's TNT, and also right there in the thick of it too as they go down to halfway. So it's Golden Candy who leads the charge. WW Springtime's in second. Deep on the course is Hidden Warrior now shares third along with he's a shooter. Second last is my bow, and Addy Laddie's TNT has dropped away silently to the back of the pack. There's three furlongs to go, and Golden Candy continues to call the shots, but WW Springtime is lurking in the shadows. They've opened up three over Hidden Warrior. He's a shooter, a non-threatening fourth, and up the rail is my bow. Wide trip for Addy Laddie's TNT, and they're into the stretch. Golden Candy continues the lead, but that lead's only three quarters of a length. WW Springtime comes calling for the lead, showing up late as Hidden Warrior, but floundering at the 16th pole. WW Springtime hits the front at 6-1 to one and inches away late. Kicking right back is Golden Candy. Golden Candy, WW Springtime, hit it together. Win photo, Golden Candy, WW Springtime, in the 8th and final.